We are standing in front of uh, the Monuments of Paris by Hubert Robert, a really exceptional loan, which is now on view in the National Gallery of Canada up to April 30th. Uh, this picture was exhibited for the first time at the Salon of 1789, um, which opened just a couple of uh, weeks after the storming of the Bastille, so a real a turning point in the history of France. What makes this picture so exceptional and uh, one of the very best pictures by Hubert Robert and certainly one of the absolute masterpieces of the French school 18th century, it's that it's an outdoor museum, it's dealing with heritage, it's dealing with permanency of a civilization. So in this imagery setting, you can see seven different monuments uh, uh, placed here as works of art, but in a complete uh, imaginary setting, bringing uh, works together, structures together, which are spread out uh, on the old city, left on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side of the Louvre. So the setting is imaginary as the proportions are uh, 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 different. The will uh, of Hubert Robert was obviously to bring together works uh, in order to present them like a collection in an outdoor museum. And it is in fact, uh, in a way, uh, retrospectively, a final tribute to the power of the monarchy because the monuments uh, featured in this outdoor museum were, with one exception, all commissioned by a monarch. Uh, it shows Paris as an archaeological site. Uh, you see that the monuments are, um, in a way, emerging from a knoll. Uh, that has very much to do with one of the deep ideals of the Age of Enlightenment, that civilization has, and art, has to be a product, a natural product of nature. So it's a place of aesthetical delectation, as we can see here, but it's also a place of work because it's about longevity of civilization, so people are continuing to, to build, but so it's a museum, it's a place of work, but it's also a place which hosts daily life. As we can see, the Fountain of the Innocence is really used as a fountain. It wasn't the case in the 18th century and it wasn't the case, it's unfortunately not still the case today. And uh, as you'd see, uh, the Porte Saint-Denis, which reminds us a triumphal arc of the Forum Romanum and which commemorates a uh, victory of Louis XIV uh, of the campaign of the Rhine, this Porte uh, Saint-Denis is really used as uh, a city door, as we can see with this sumptuous uh, carriage. So it's a picture which is a museum, a place of work, and a place which hosts daily life. And art and life shouldn't be separated. It's one thing, uh, one of the deep ideal of the Age of Enlightenment, and I think it's something we should remind today.